Well, Arseniy Yatsenyuk was the Prime Minister of Ukraine from 2014 to 2016 and he's now the chairman of the Kyiv Security Forum. This is the biggest disaster after the Second World War. And, you know, frankly, it even recalls me Srebrenica when uh, Bosnian Serbs troops killed around 8,000 Muslims. So this is the real Russian genocide. And uh, no doubt uh, that these kind of atrocities and uh, war crimes against Ukrainians was ordered personally by President Putin and his inner circle. And the reason why I'm telling you this is very clear. Let me remind you that uh, half a year ago, Putin published his notorious article, which was a historical uh, article, uh, which has actually, frankly, has nothing to do with the history, when he denied uh, the very existence of the Ukrainian state. Uh, yesterday, the former Russian president, which is Medvedev, uh, who is the deputy chair of the National Security Council of the Russian Federation, made similar statements uh, that reminds me a kind of Nazi-style final solution statement. The only thing that Medvedev didn't mention is that uh, 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 Ukrainians are untermerged, uh, which, which, is, which is not human. Uh, so this is a Russian-style uh, Nazi policy against Ukraine, and Russian leaders ordered these war crimes against the Ukrainian people. Are you confident that if war crimes have been committed, that those responsible, and you're saying this goes all the way to the top, will be brought to justice? Uh, I strongly believe that the time will come when President Putin and his cronies will sit behind the bars. Uh, look, um, this is the way the global history is evolving. It's all about justice, and they will be brought to justice. Uh, the idea I launched a few days ago, I am asking G7 member states to establish a special legal panel, a kind of new Nuremberg process against the Russian Federation, legal panel which is to investigate atrocities and war crimes and crimes against humanity committed by the Russian Federation. And uh, uh, this legal panel have to investigate and to prepare legal grounds for legal prosecutions of Putin and everyone in the chain of command. Are the Ukrainian authorities managing to gather the kind of forensic evidence that you will need for that in a war situation? That's the reason why I believe we need to establish this big global G7 member states uh, legal panel. Because uh, Ukrainian authorities and Ukrainian attorney general, they already started to um, uh, collect uh, all forensic evidences. Uh, but um, let me remind you that uh, at the time I was the prime minister, we devoted uh, all investigative powers uh, to the case of MH17 when Russian forces shot down MH17. We uh, devoted all these inv investigative powers to the, to the Dutch uh, investigative uh, team, and it worked well. So actually, we had an international team. We collected together all evidences, and right now, Russians uh, are brought to justice. The same copycat scenario, the same pattern, I would apply uh, uh, relatively to this um, uh, terrible atrocities that are committed by Russian Federation. In the meantime, we know that or we're told that Russia is going to make a, an increased push in the Donbass region and also that there's more likely to be increased shelling of Odessa. We know that the situation in Mariupol is, is terrible. Is Ukraine going to manage to hold the Russians back in these areas? Well, here is the thing. Look, you remember that... Uh, and International media uh, provided the reports more than 40 days ago that uh, Russian military is so capable and durable that they can easily take over Ukraine in 96 hours or 72 hours, doesn't matter. It didn't happen. Uh, the reason why it didn't happen is as follows. There are a number of reasons. The first one is that Ukrainian people are very united and we are fighting like hell. So Ukrainian military is strong enough. Uh, 
The other reason is that the Western world decided to ship and to supply lethal weapon to the Ukrainian military. The next reason was an unpredictable for Putin, but pre- predictable for us, unity of the Western world and the sanctions that have been imposed on Russia. And we need to reach up these sanctions. So uh, uh, this month would be very, very complicated and difficult. Uh, Russia decided to retreat from some areas of Ukraine. Ukrainian military started counteroffensive, but uh, no doubt that Russia actually started to redeploy its military and uh, um, Russian military switched to plan B, which is to take over what they can. They believe that they can take over the east of Ukraine. I believe that we will succeed And I believe that we will uh, stop the Russian military. In order to stop the Russian military, once again, my appeal to the Western world, help Ukraine. Ship the little weapon. Do whatever you can to stop this Nazi-style leader who is President Putin. Because we are fighting not just for Ukraine. We are fighting for you. Arseniy Yatsenyuk, who is the Prime Minister, former Prime Minister of Ukraine between 2014 and 2016.